All right, folks are worried about rising long-term interest rates in the Treasury market. Tonight's question, is it time for Ben Bernanke to take the pedal off the monetary metal? We have two former Fed bigwigs, former Fed Governor Wayne Angel and CNBC contributor Robert McTeer, former Dallas Fed Bank president, currently fellow at National Center for Policy Analysis. Hello, gentlemen. Wayne Angel, big move up in Treasury rates. Big move up. Very unexpected. I also noticed five-year forward tips inflation spreads now. Two and a half percent. That's uh, above the Fed's inflation target of two percent. Not today, but in the recent past, gold has made a very nice run upward. Everything tells me the Fed's printing too much money. Do you think they will listen to these market signals and develop a credible exit strategy? Larry, I, I'm convinced that Chairman Bernanke will be very attuned to an exit strategy from these very, very low uh, Fed funds rate targets. So I, I expect those rates to get up there to 1%. And the only question is when, uh, sooner or later. Uh, I guess I put me in the camp of those that would prefer sooner. You want to see him say something about it in the upcoming FOMC meeting in June, a signal to the marketplace? I think that would be a wonderful opportunity because he then goes out on Capitol Hill and can explain. Uh, but monetary policy always works. And we know there is a record amount of excess reserves in the banking system. And, Larry, on top of that, commodity prices are starting to move up. Right. All right. So, Bob McTeer, you heard Wayne's theory here. And, yeah, there's $900 billion of excess reserves waiting to be used. OK, that's a good thing, but not at a zero Fed funds rate. The M2 money supply since last summer is growing well into the double digits. And basically, Bob McTeer, I guess the biggest reason I like to see the Fed with an exit strategy and agree with Wayne is the central bank is monetizing our debt. Let's face it. That is what they are doing. They're going to continue to do it. That's what uh, Vice uh, Chairman uh, Cohn said over the weekend. You know it. I know it. You agree with Wayne Angel? It's time for them to develop such an exit strategy and get that short-term Fed funds target up. It may be okay for them to begin talking about the uh, the target going up, but you know, uh, policy is not that easy. The uh, the asset expansion on the Fed's balance sheet hasn't reached levels it reached last December. Uh, the base, monetary base, has gone up very rapidly, but that's because of those excess reserves you were talking about. M1 has gone up and back down, and M2 has gone up and back down. So I don't think monetary policy is that easy Robert, right any time, look, a trillion bucks from the Fed is a trillion bucks from the Fed. I don't care how, when, where it shows up. It might have made a peak a few weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although you and I both know and Wayne knows they're going to be buying more treasuries. OK, they're going to be buying more mortgage backs. That means the printing presses are going to run over time. What I really want to know is, are they looking at market price indicators like the 100 basis point jump in 10 year treasuries all of a sudden out of the blue? Well, I think the uh, the Treasury rate is a function of the Treasury selling too many uh too many securities, too many bonds. I don't think it's a reflection that uh, monetary policy is uh, all that easy right do, now. Do you not think, Mr. McTeer, one of my mentors and tutors, former hard money, Wayne Angel, this is so much fun, former hard money president of the free market, Schumpeterian, entrepreneurial Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas, Wayne, you and I lauded him down through the years. Mr. McTeer, do you not think that monetizing deficit spending is a bad idea by the, our central bank. Doesn't that smack just a wee bit of Argentina? It's, it's not a switch that's turned on and off. The Fed always monetizes the debt when it purchases assets. It's just a matter of degree. And right now, they're monetizing just enough to prevent deflation, not enough to create inflation. Wayne Angel, how much of a threat? We're going to go out. You guys are going to come back. But real quick, Wayne, how much of a threat is deflation? Because it seems to me markets are saying it ain't a threat anymore. Uh, deflation is not a serious threat at this point in time. Uh, we do have the awesome fact of falling house prices, and, and, and that insulates us from any inflation effects that we would immediately get uh, from Fed actions of 
accommodative monetary policy. All right. Uh, turns out Mr. Wayne Angel is going to tell us in the next segment. He's got some very interesting higher economic growth projections for the next year or so. And yes, I'm going to continue to work on my monetary mentor, Robert McTeer, on why the Fed ought to cease and desist and use market price indicators much more on rising long term interest rates and the Federal Reserve right after this break. So long term interest rates rising 100 basis points in the Treasury market from two and a half to three and a half percent are telling the Fed to stop printing so much darn money. We're going to hear some more from Wayne Angel and Bob McTeer. Wayne Angel, you do see a couple of pretty strong economic growth quarters coming up, do you not? Well, I do. Uh, a year from now, we're going to be looking at the second half of the year 2010. We're going to be looking, looking at probably one, one of those final quarters that's going to be having real growth in the 6 to 8% range. Mm. Now, that's fast. But, Larry, monetary policy always works, but it always works with long and variable time lags. And that's why you're making your warning now. Yes. I mean, it's a timely warning. I think ahead, not that they ever do. You know, Bob McTeer, here's another one. I mean, we didn't mention the dollar. The dollar had a pretty good run for a while during the credit crunch. But now it's down 10 percent in the last three months. The Fed thinks that the cheap dollar is a good thing, right? Thinks it's going to grow the economy through exports. I, on the other hand, don't believe we can have a durable economic growth cycle with a sinking currency. Well, I think they're basically ignoring it and letting the market uh, take care of it. Uh, I agree with you in the long run that a strong dollar is good for our standard of living. Right now, however, I just assume the dollar not rise very much because I think it would uh, it would put a crimp in the uh, recovery that's going to come. Well, but Wayne Angel, why not have a steady dollar and, and why not make it clear to the public that you want a steady dollar? And Wayne, you know, if Treasury rates keep rising, what's that going to do with the stock market rally? Well, it's, it's going to mean that the Fed would be far better off taking the Fed funds target uh, to one percent and stop this escalation of five and 10 year treasury rates right. than it would be to leave the rate at, 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 at that 25 basis point. You know, they may be making the same boom bust fine tuning mistake they made back in the early 2000s. I mean, come on, Bob McTeer. Zero now was 1% then, real fast on the way up. I don't think so. I think I think they have time to reverse the, uh, the policy. All right. I got to get out. Bob McTeer, Wade Angel. Thank you, Jim.